This video shows you four transfer techniques for transferring a drawing to fabric for embroidery. Now, for this embroidery demonstration, I have cut some calico a little bit bigger than the hoops I'm planning to work with. So the first thing that I need to do is to press the fabric well. If you embroider onto unpressed fabric, when you press it afterwards, it's going to shrink around the embroidery, creating a crumpled effect. Okay, and it's always a good idea to press that fabric in the direction of the grain. So across the grain and on the straight of grain. Okay, so in order to transfer your drawings onto fabric, there's a range of tools that I'm going to demonstrate that you could choose to use. So the first one is a simple pencil. If we transfer the drawing with a pencil or sketch it onto the fabric with a pencil, the main thing to remember is that is permanent and we will have to stitch over it. This pen here, um, unfortunately I've got tape over it, but it is a disappearing marker and it typically comes in either a pink shade or a purple shade. It is intended that the lines will disappear within three days, but this particular one disappears in about 20 minutes. So really it depends on the brand and I think they can be very successful or um, I'm not particularly fond of this one, but have worked successfully with them before. So this one is currently my favorite tool. It is called um, Aqua Trick Master, this particular brand. So this is a cold water soluble pen and it needs less water than you think. Often a water spray or a damp cloth will remove the lines afterwards. And this one here is a heat transfer pencil. So I will demonstrate that one later. And then also very, very easy to work with is carbon paper with a tracing wheel or a pencil. Now, as a motif, I'm working with a photograph I took of a moth. This is an unusual lacewing moth. And I have simply traced it on a light box by placing a sheet of paper on top and tracing around the most important lines. So it's important to note if you're embroidering that you will probably want to take only the most important lines because there's no way you could embroider, especially when you're starting all of the information in your original drawing or photograph or whatever motif you're working with. So and I'm now going to show you how to transfer this in different ways onto fabric so that I've got lines to follow when I start the machine embroidery. Okay, so working on the light box here, I've placed some of my fabric over the sketch that I've got. So this is the original pencil sketch and I'm going to place the fabric sample over it so that the motif is lined up in the center. And in this case, I'm going to use an ordinary pencil. And if I trace around the lines, the main thing to remember is I will end up with pencil lines that then have to be stitched over because these pencil lines then become permanent. So most people don't have access to a light box. So simply sticking a sheet of paper into a window and sticking the piece of fabric in front of it, you can get a very good um, trace through. Okay, so this time demonstrating with the blue water soluble marker. So this one makes a more discernible line, making it easier to see when you're stitching and it does disappear very easily with a little bit of water afterwards. Okay, so this is currently my favorite embroidery tool because it's so easy to sketch freely around it and you don't have to worry about following those lines exactly. Okay, so just lifting this away for a while, you can see that those lines are quite clear.
Okay, so this is the finished tracing in the blue water soluble marker. And because I can get rid of all of these lines at the end, it doesn't really matter if I follow them exactly when stitching. Okay, for the next demonstration, what I have is I've taken a photocopy of the original drawing and I'm going to work with the carbon paper. So placing the fabric on a hard surface, turn the carbon paper upside down because it's the carbon paper that will leave a mark on the fabric. Place your drawing over the top. Now I've taken a photocopy so that I won't damage the original drawing and then just to keep everything steady I've got a little bit of tape and I'm just taping the drawing down to hold everything together. I've got two choices. I can either use a tracing wheel to go over some of these lines. As you can see though the drawing is a little bit small and I don't know that that's going to be a great option for me but I'll start with the tracing wheel. Okay, so tracing then with a pencil. Um, you may need to use quite a firm mark on the paper in order for the mark to show through. So you can do a quick test and take a look in underneath and see what's happening. So if I lift up the edge here, I'm going to lift up the tape too. Okay, so it's leaving quite a defined line on the paper. So I'll continue it then and give you a look at the end. Okay, and the final technique then is to work with the heat transfer pencil. Okay, the idea is to draw reasonably heavily over the original drawing. Okay, so this is not a great technique for very, very fine work because obviously these lines will transfer quite thickly like this. Okay, because the pencil is so thick, I'm having to edit out some of the information that I had, which is okay as well. Okay, so with the heat transfer pencil tracing that I've done here, what I need to do is to turn that upside down onto the piece of fabric that I want to transfer it to. And then I need to apply the heat of an iron and to hold the transfer steady while ironing. So heat alone is not enough. You are going to need to apply quite a bit of pressure and to be aware then that this technique may not suit very, very fine fabrics. Okay, so I'm pressing really quite hard and now I'm going to take a look and see. So it has just started to transfer. So it does take quite a bit of heat to get these pencils to transfer. So that is the effect of the heat transfer pencil. Okay, so just a quick summary of the four techniques. We first of all traced with pencil. The second one then is the cold water soluble pencil. The third technique then was working with the carbon paper, which comes in a range of colors. And the fourth technique then was the heat transfer pencil. So looking at them in total, carbon paper is quite good because the lines are at least quite fine, but I will have to stitch over them, as I said. The lines are reasonably fine in this cold water soluble pencil, but at least I don't have to stick to them. I can get a little bit more creative because I know I can get rid of them. And probably the least successful of the tools I've used is the heat transfer pencil because the lines ended up being quite thick and um, there's a lot to stitch over here.